Right. Are you ready? It's time to say hello to our first guest. He's won a World Cup. It's Ozzy Ardiles! <laughs> You have a seat. Uh, let's watch Ozzy doing his very special thing. Yeah, very well. Thank you very much for. I didn't know I scored so many goals in my <laughs> in my career in Tottenham. So thank you. Now you just written your autobiography, Ozzy's Dream. Mm -hmm. There it is. Um, read it read it in the week. Really enjoyed it. Um, did you enjoy writing it? Yeah, very much. Uh, the idea was put to me about a year ago, and we started working. And incredible how many memories I I have, of, especially of, of my when I was in England. Um, so it was great, great fun. Because. You know, loads of footballers write books now when they're like 23, but you're the first foreign player to play in England. You won the FA Cup twice with Spurs. You had to leave the country because of war. You won the World Cup. You've managed in every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> um, and you've only written one book. People must have been asking you for years to write mm. something. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think that was a very good opportunity, so I did it. I'm, I'm very happy that I did it. Um, incredible when, when I started to recollect things, how, how many things in my life, how many the, the very high points and some, some low points as well. Is it, and is it all in there? All it's of kind that? Of, in kind, just yeah. kind of. <laughs> um, let's talk about some of those things that you've done. Firstly, you won the World Cup. <laughs> you won the World Cup. That is amazing. In 1978, beating Holland. You're, you, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> in the book, you say you remember it because you've had to talk about it pretty much every day of your life. But it, kind of in some ways, it is just a blur as well. Like people say that their their wedding day is is kind of it just happens. It's just a blur. Is that is that really the case? That the well, I don't want to compare the winning the World Cup with my wedding day. No, <laughs> you're getting in trouble. That is, that is the first. That is <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, I mean, it's, uh, when you play such a such a big, big game, it's a kind of, uh, you're in a film, you, you just react to things. In fact, a lot of your instinct as a player play there, I mean, you, you, as a player, I always wanted to control the game in midfield, wanted to, to know what everybody was doing, my team, the other team, look for the weaknesses, etc. But uh, in the cup final, it, it was not possible. Yes, it was a kind of like in a film that I was there and, and just, just, just play. Do you remember how you felt the morning that you woke up? You woke up, oh, right, oh. today oh, is the World Cup yeah. final and I'm in it. Do you remember how you felt? Very nervous. nervous. Um, normally, normally I was uh, very, very relaxed before every game. I, I never wanted to, to think about the game. I always think about a lot of different things. But in that particular day, um, it was incredibly nervous. And, and the nervousness just stayed with you. It stayed with you all day. Mm. It stayed with you the, day, the night before, for example. Very kind of impossible to sleep. Did, could you eat? Because I can't eat when I'm really, really nervous. Could I tried to eat as, 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 as much as I could, yeah. because hopefully you, you know that you're going to have it. As much as you could. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> right. All you can eat, yeah. <laughs> I was very lucky that I could eat as, as much as I can, and it's no problem. Um, so try to eat, yes, of course. I mean, the, the, the flavour of, of the food is, tastes funny and, and everything. So it's a, it was a very, very special occasion. And when the game starts, you hear a lot of footballers say, look, whatever the nerves, whatever happens, the game starts and suddenly that's you're just totally in the zone. Is there part of you thinking, this is the World Cup final, like <laughs> every second? Yes, uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the people in the stadium, the repercussion of the game, you know that it's uh, live all over the world and so on. So uh, for a normal game, you will play, as soon as you touch the first ball, you start to feel confident and, and it's another game, basically. Uh, not in the cup final. In the cup final, you, you feel the nervousness stay with you for about 15, 20 minutes, uh, very, very hard. And it changed your life completely? 
It changed my life completely, yes. Um, I mean, without playing the World Cup, uh, I wouldn't have been in England, and I am still in England. So it, it changed my life in a completely different manner. We suddenly decided to, to come with Ricky here, and it was a new adventure, new life, uh, a new everything. Just going back to the World Cup, there is a brilliant story in the book about you had to get smuggled out of the ground afterwards. Well, yes, because uh, my wife was expecting my second child, Freddie, and so all the squad were we were all going to the to the hotel together in a, um, in, in a bus. But uh, in my case, I had to go to my to my to my house, to my home, and, and collect my wife. So I had to. So your wife wasn't at the game. No, he couldn't. Was she, 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 that's right. Um, so I had to go and collect her, and it was impossible to go to to the hotel where the where the party was. So at the end of the day, I, w I, I went to the police and I said, can you take me there? I said, yes, please. And after signing 1,000 out there, I, I went there. And after saying that, because all the people were in the street and so on, celebrating. And, yeah. and Did they put the sirens on and for in the you? Yeah, in the last, yeah. In the That's great. In the last 100 meters, not only, not only the police, the police couldn't, couldn't go through. So they put me in an ambulance. So <laughs> 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 Where would you keep your medal? Mr. Barclay. The Mr. Barclay? Yes, in the <laughs> it's in the bank, yes. Do you just sometimes pop there just to have a look at it? Not really, but sometimes <laughs> when I go and collect some other thing, for example, yes, I send it and touch it and so on. This is kind of impossible to, to have it at home. I, I'm looking forward to it going to be in a museum very, very soon. Oh, a museum? Yes. Oh, you not, don't? No, 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 mine. Not the Aussie. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. I'd, I'd go. pay money. Yeah. pay money to go and look at that. You played for years with Maradona. Mm. Is he the best ever? He was the best, the best ever. Uh, I, I never see somebody like him. Not before, not after him. Right now there are some wonderful players, Ronaldo, Messi, of course, um, and there have been a lot of wonderful players through, through history, but no one was like him. And at Spurs, in the book you say Hoddle was almost as good? Glenn was basically, well, Glenn was God. <laughs> 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 uh, Glenn was, Glenn basically was Maradona without pace. Uh, Glenn had... <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what? That? You'd take you'd take it, wouldn't you? I think, you'd I think take, he'd that. take that. Maradona, that, that face. That's Glenn, yeah. Glenn, Glenn will be watching me, so I have to be careful <laughs> what I say. Yeah. Glenn was incredibly, incredibly talented. Yeah. Now you and Ricky Villa, the first major foreign signings in English football when you signed for Spurs. You did your deal and you did Ricky's deal. No agents. No. Did you get a cut? Off Ricky, <laughs> I should have. <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. Ricky, as you know, is very, very laid down. I mean, kind of. Uh, I, I had to do everything. Uh, I took everything with, with his working shop. After saying that, it was very simple. Whatever I, I have, he, he have as well. So we had the same house, the same car, the same, same everything. So uh, it was his wife. Easy. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> right. sorry, too obvious. And uh, we briefly touched on the 81 Cup final. We can't talk about it without showing this. Oh. How good oh, was this? talked about today. Mm -hmm. Great, great goal. Great memories. Absolutely. Great memories, yes. Uh, that was playing some other big, big game, but uh, in England that was the number one game. We always remember this, this, this game, particularly for, it was a Ricky final, basically. In the first game, he was he played very bad. He was ejected. He was uh, fighting with Keith Hurkin Show, with the crowd, with, with absolutely everybody. But in the second game, he was absolutely magnificent. And probably this goal is the is the best goal in the best goal in the FA Cup final. Best goal in the FA Cup final. Yeah. Think yeah. better than Di Matteo's. Yeah, it's better than Di Matteo's. Oh, for 18 seconds. It doesn't matter how long it takes, does it? All right. Doesn't it? Um, West Ham three three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Right. You also you managed Spurs as well, playing five players up front, which was great. Um, when Sir Alan Sugar got rid of you, did he say, Aussie, you're fired? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was Margaret there. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, no. In, fact, in fact, I believe that, uh, obviously, Alan Sugar is, is like that in The Apprentice and so on. With me, it was a very emotional day, to be honest. Um, at, at the end of the day, we, we spent one year and a half working together very, very closely indeed, and we have a lot of little battles in, with the FAA, with, with the other clubs, etc., etc., etc. So we were very, very close, and um, so when it was a pretty emotional day when, when he had to say to me, bye-bye. All right, so he's different on the TV. Uh -huh. We knew that. Yeah. We knew that, really. He's a good um, actor. He is a good actor. <laughs> Thank you very much for the time being, Mr. Osvaldo. <laughs>